Just so you know, I feel great today. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Straight in with the brew this morning. You can probably hear the pump going off in the background. Just try and angle the microphone away from the noise a little bit so you can hear me. So today, a vacant gesture. Yesterday was the retirement brew. And tomorrow is going to be the stout. So three back-to-back -back brew days. Yesterday I was feeling really under the weather. Today, the clouds have cleared, my friend, and I feel fantastic. So we're going to brew as quickly as we can. While the mash is on, uh, I've got caustic in the boil kettle, which has been recirculated at the moment. That's what the noise is. And uh, that's getting rid of yesterday's crud. We've just got to rinse that out, totally rinse down all the pipe work and the platex, and then fill it up with some acid. Same thing with the acid. And then five minutes before we do the transfer out of the mash tun into the boil kettle, We'll drop that acid down the drain and uh, then go ahead and transfer the wort from the mash tun into the freaking boil kettle. Yes, we will. And then we'll start boiling. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to have to take Chancy Poo for a walk. Yeah, look at him. He's hiding out of the way because I just moved the pallet truck and him no like it. Right, I'm gonna crack on with this caustic and ting. That's the caustic part of the clean completed. Now we've actually got acid in there and the acid's now being recirculated throughout the whole system through every single piece of pipework and the plate exchanger, all the pump, all the inlets, all the outlets everywhere to sanitize the boil kettle. We've got six minutes left on the mash before I have to start doing the vol off. So once I start doing the vol off, uh, then I'll drain the acid out of the tank, which will then allow me uh, to put the beer straight in there ready for the boil. The familiar chime of the alarm bell is telling me the timer is complete. We've transferred all the acid into the fermenter to sanitize the fermenter now and what we're doing is just waiting in fact i'll turn this off what we're doing now is we're just about to transfer the liquor in here if i bring you in and let you have a look you'll see how clear excuse the camera wobbling a little bit you'll see just exactly how clear the liquid is coming out of those uh, that pipe it is crystal so that tells me that we're ready to transfer which is as simple as one two three so isolate the supply disconnect the pipe pop onto the new uh, supply port that we've installed there and turn the supply back on now we've got the beer, there we are, flowing into the boil kettle. So if I isolate, if I isolate the supply on the HRT, disconnect the recirculation pipe, connect the recirculation pipe now to the spark arm. Turn the supply back on. So now we've got hot water going into the top of this tank, and beer going into the bottom of that tank. Now we just have to wait for it to all transfer. I put this barge arms on as well, aren't we? Bits of real pants. 
stings the nostrils in a good way. Yeah. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Right, that's the mashed tun dug out. Now what I'm gonna do while I'm waiting for the boil to complete is weigh out the grains for tomorrow's brew. We're doing the stout tomorrow, the Harrison's Brewery Stout. So you get a little bit of an insight into what, uh, what grains we're using here. So we've got 75 kilos of pale malt already in the mash tun behind you, ready for tomorrow. I'll just turn the scales on, and we're gonna start at the top of the list with, we're gonna start at the top of the list with black malt. So, to accompany 75 kilograms of pail, we require 6.97 kilograms of black malt. It's a lot of black malt. 6.9 is close enough. I know we'll pop that up there. Black malt. And then next. We've got 1.51 of chocolate, 1 1.2, 1.3, 1.6, 1.4, that's got to be about 1.5, yeah, 1.5, and then we've got 15.7 kilos of flaked barley. Well, the flaked barley that I've got uh, is here, there's not enough. So I've got to open a bag for that. So we'll jump down to the oat malt. That's 9.36 kilos of oat. So we're looking for nine kilos of oat. 6.1, so we're gonna to have to open a bag there as well. And then the last one is roasted barley. 1.54 roasted barley. Might be better off just doing this. This is the roast. One point four. Pop that in. One hundred grams. About there. Right, I've got them all weighed out. Check out the colours as they go in the mash. You know what? You know, I've really got these brew days down to a fine art now. 20 past two, and we're just about finished. I started at nine this morning. We're just transferring into the fermenter. I'll have had the boil kettle rinsed out by three o'clock, and uh, I could, if I wanted to, go back home with Jem. Rest up again today. Probably feel fantastic again tomorrow if I do that. Uh, we shall see. Now, a couple of things I want to touch on while I've got your attention for a moment. I uh, ran a poll on Patreon uh, last month asking if anybody wanted anything different on the channel and overwhelmingly people voted 
for me to just continue to do what I'm doing. So what I'd like to try to do uh, is we'll just run with the theme, you know, sharing every day as it happens in the pub, the brewery, wherever else we are. And then maybe just a couple of extra videos on the weekend. Nothing uh, massive, but normally I don't film on the weekend because I try and do something with the family. So I might try and include that in there as well. That would be, uh, I'd be diversifying the channel just a touch, but more content if you, uh, if you will. And also what I'd like uh, is a little bit of help from you guys in terms of uh, the comments on the channel. Now I read every comment, but sometimes I'm in a position where I can't reply to them and I don't really have a chance to go back over them all again. So I'd like a volunteer. I'd like somebody who's been, uh, been with the channel for a long time if possible. Somebody who uh, knows what we're all about here. Uh, and I'd like to promote somebody, if you like to use that word, uh, to a moderator for the channel. So if there's any volunteers out there, take a step forward, put your hand up and uh, we'll see where we go. I'm only looking for one person at the moment, uh, but help would be much appreciated, whoever we decide to choose. So if you'd like to do that, answering a few questions for me, or your role will be uh, basically to uh, point out any questions that you think really need answering. And then what I'll try and do then is answer them in a video instead of answering them in the comments. Uh, so we'll be whoever's the moderator will be having a dialogue with me at least once a week to point these things out. That'll be great. So if you'd like to help me out, stick your name down below and uh, we'll take it from there. Right, one of the other projects I'm doing as well, whilst I'm waiting for the beer to transfer, because that's most of the job of brewing, is waiting for things to happen. Transfers, pots to boil, pots to empty, pots to fill, mashes to end. So in the meantime, I'm prattling around with this uh, idea I've got here. Come and have a look. So the idea is, a picture frame from the offcuts of timber that we got from the bar. What do you think to that? I think that's a nice ornate picture frame, don't you? So what I'm gonna do is uh, put like a rabbit in down here to allow a piece of perspex to be slid in. And then on the back, we'll put a back in there as well to allow pictures to be slid in or whatever from behind. I think that'll kind of work, don't you? Or we might just leave the top open so we can just slide it slide it straight in. Anyway, we're still in kind of the experimental phase at the minute, but I kind of like them. I think they'll look smart. So that's the brew day complete. But it's this section of the brew day that really kind of separates separates the men from the boys, you know? Because uh, this is where we take our gravity reading. over to the sink. So with the vacant, we're looking for 10.35.8 to 10.36.8 for the starting gravity to give us 3.9% ABV. We finished quite low on this beer. It's a relatively dry, dry beverage. I'd say that's close enough, would you not? I certainly would. 
Right, we'll rinse this equipment off then. And uh, being careful <laughs> not to damage the sacrometer because these bad boys are easily damaged. And then, uh, well, I'm just rinsing the kettle. We're ready for tomorrow's brew then. Freaking right, it's that easy. Right, it's been a success. And because it's been such a good day, I'm uh, gonna go into the pub <laughs> and treat myself to a quick pint before Gemma gets here. Chance, in. Chance, in. Come on in. He's a plonker, isn't he? So yeah, quick pint before Gem gets here. Uh, which will be two minutes and then I'm gonna go home with Jemima friggin rides boys another day in the bag Jumbo! oh dude I'm gonna have a quick pint yeah I'm gonna have a is coconut still on? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have a coconut. Has it turned on? No, no, I'm gonna do Good man, I'll open this then. What are the goodies? What are the goodies? Oh. Silicon soap trays. They're not fun, are they? Frick's sakes. Thought it might have been something fun and exciting. But no, 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 no. These friggin' uh, little jars have a mind of their own. Yeah. How are the pumps pulling? All good? It's better, yeah. Sweet. Um, I mean, there's one that will still be. It still drips away, does it? It's yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, it goes down here. Yeah. It's not a lot, though, is it? It's not as much as it was. It was like pretty half a pint last time. Like a night, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. If it's just like one of them jars on a night, I can live with that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's friggin' good, that is. Right. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna sign off. And we'll friggin' see you tomorrow. Yeah, I bought these, but apparently, if I use soap at home, I don't use that. Squirty stuff. So apparently, if you get the right soap dish, then you sell it. Lasts longer. So I've got these. That's all the juices run off there. So you don't get like pubic cells. Oh, right. Oh, right. So it ends up dissolving. And it tells the actual soap. Yeah. Well, I've got the water on it. And it tells you. Because obviously you've got the soap bar and the French because the water didn't just fall. That's right, yeah. I bought the soap leaf ones. So I bought them. I think they're all wrong. Anyway, random. <laughs>